Season 5 news, Halo Online armor sets coming to the MCC, a brand new Community Forge playlist coming to the MCC as well, and how many bugs were actually squashed in one year of MCC coming to PC. Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date with everything going on with Halo. And also tap that like button, it greatly helps out this video and channel a lot. Now, kind of in a bit of a surprise, we got a month end update for December. Well, on the 15th, halfway through the month. But uh, it looks like what's going to be happening is that 343 is going to be taking the last couple of weeks of the, the month off due to the holidays and just, you know, obviously working really hard. And oftentimes within Microsoft, the month of December is probably the slowest month to get any kind of production done. So it's kind of within Microsoft's work culture to kind of take the month of December off. So uh, they didn't mention anything about the custom game browser flighting, which they said they wanted to get to in December. But I was, I was pretty doubtful of that. And it looks like it's probably not going to be happening unless they well, it worked during throughout the holiday break, but uh, I highly doubt that's going to happen. A really cool thing that's happening is that Season 5 content is basically getting preloaded into the December 16th patch update. Now, you won't be able to unlock anything in Season 5, but you will be able to view it within the game itself. So we definitely will be breaking it down as soon as that update does go live. I'll show you guys all the new content that's coming in. We have some new armor sets. We have some new, probably new nameplates as well. A lot of great content coming in with some actual Halo Online stuff as well an interesting thing i wanted to showcase though they, they actually did a year in review of halo mcc from december 2019 to december 2020 with some interesting statistics so i kind of wanted to kind of quickly go over them because they're just kind of fun interesting things to look at you know so we can see that we had you know f almost 41 and a half million hours played of the mcc hours of multiplayer sessions being right around 19 million which is pretty awesome to look at right there a rather surprising statistic here is the imbalance of frag grenade kills to plasma grenades yes you do know that you know, you get, you start with frag grenades for most games, but for it to be this lopsided towards the frag grenade for more kills, it's just kind of surprising because, you know, you get killed by plasma grenades often. I do. Like, they're definitely part of the game. I just don't think of it being that rare an occasion, but apparently, according to these stats, it's a pretty rare occasion to get killed by a plasma grenade, which I thought was just kind of interesting. And this one is a pretty cool statistic. This talks about all the bugs within MCC that were crushed throughout the entire year. You see, with CE, it had over 400. Halo Reach had over 200. ODST with over 500, Halo 2 with over 600, Halo 4 with over 300, and Halo 3 actually having the most at 700 plus bugs being squashed, totaling up to 4,267 bugs that were completely crushed and fixed throughout the year of 2020. Really more like starting in December 2019, but I think that's kind of a really awesome statistic to know that we crushed that many bugs within the MCC. Which is kind of also freaky to think about that the game shipped with that many bugs way back in 2014. But, you know, hey, we're, we're at where we're at right now. Now, a really cool thing that's coming in with the MCC are more maps, actually. These are going to be Forge maps that were part of a competition on Forge Hub for Halo 3. They made they like a bit of a community-led kind of competition. And actually, they said about nine-ish, maybe even more maps are from that competition are going to be making their way into a specific playlist called like a community playlist much like how we had in halo 5 with that forge made community playlist that just gave you some more maps to play around with doing the same thing but it sounds like in halo 3 as well which is pretty awesome to know that we get some chance to play some new content within the game i think it's really something that 343 could utilize definitely a lot more in the mcc is taking advantage of that user created content within the game to bring it over to matchmaking so more people get a chance to play some new styles of games which is going to be you know obviously more content more stuff to do the better no uh time frame on the release date when that's gonna be coming around i'm assuming probably early in the year of 2021. Now the next section here, if you're familiar with these development updates, they have a state of the game with farms. Basically kind of goes into what's going to be going on right now, what's happening in the future, and some pretty interesting things here, guys. So we check out the screen here. They talk about seasons right here. And obviously we do love our seasons and our content there as well. They mentioned that they're going to be doing seasons on a regular two month cadence, starting with season five, which is going to be in January. They haven't announced the date yet exactly when January's season five is going to start. I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. Once you subscribe, you'll know for sure. 
Uh, they actually do mention that the current plan is to take us all the way to Season 10, which is obviously taking us pretty much all the way right up to the release of Halo Infinite. So we're gonna have plenty of content coming our way for the MCC, at least when it comes to Halo stuff. Next section, they talk about modding. Modding is gonna be very huge with the MCC. It's gonna be basically what carries this game beyond its intended life cycle, like especially once Halo Infinite releases as well. Uh, they do mention one really important thing here for guys, if you're in the modding community, is the mod tools are gonna be coming in, hopefully relatively soon. Uh, no time frame on this one, but they do mention they're gonna be working hand in hand with the modding community of Halo to try to build out something really special. Giving modders the ability to create content is going to be something that's going to be opening up the floodgates of content and new cool awesome things coming for the MCC. I really hope they're able to utilize the Steam Workshop to try to get something really awesome and more accessible for people to download on the MCC here. And they also talk about Forge, talking about new Forge items coming in eventually. They don't mention anything specifically, but they do talk about Forge saying that we'll have some new stuff, which is awesome. And they also just quality of life fixes. We had that with the December 16th update. And so we're going to be seeing this throughout 2021, cr crushing some more bugs that we did earlier in the video. Now, really, really cool thing here, guys. Check out this ar these new armor sets. Let me remove my webcam so they don't block anything. But you can see here, these are new armor sets that are going to be coming into the MCC, which it looked like, you know, they didn't confirm this, but it looks like something that's taken from Halo Online content being brought into the MCC, which I think opens up a whole floodgate of new content. Coming to the MCC, we have the Demo Spartan, Future Spartan, and the Compass Spartan armor as well. An uh, interesting thing about the middle Spartan here is it's a completely different undersuit than these right here. Does this mean that we have the ability to possibly customize our undersuit, or is it just tied to this Spartan armor in particular? Not totally sure. We'll have to know more as soon as we, you know, we have some more content released about this, guys. This is coming in Season 5, so keep an eye out for that as well. Now, these look rather Halo 4-like. I mean, the undersuit right here definitely looks like something from Halo 4, but the thing is that, you know, people point out that there are tertiary colors with this. We have one, two, three colors, one, two, three colors as well. And the only game that supports a tertiary color system is Halo 3. So are we going to see these armor sets coming into Halo 3? I mean, Halo Online was basically like a somewhat modded version of Halo 3 to come to PC. So I think we could definitely could see that happening. Now, to me, this also makes me think about what other kind of content will they be able to bring in cross games, which is just crazy to think about right there. Uh, there's plenty of awesome maps that were in Halo Online that people really enjoyed and it looked fantastic. I mean, they even tried passing them as some Halo Infinite screenshots you now to get some you know clicks on the internet for like some fake leaks and stuff like that. I would love to get a chance to play the Halo Online content. I haven't been able to play it at all since they you know, put the DMCA on it from Microsoft to basically shut that whole thing down, not making any content, not streaming it at all. But really, Halo Online was, I feel like, was what kind of sparked the interest from 343 to make MCC on PC. Let's see it somewhat use content that's really good stuff, like Turf's remake in Halo Online is amazing. I would love to see it come into the MCC. And it did state in the previous development update that it's in the realm of possibilities. They'll look into it, and if they can do it, they'll try to make it work. And it seems like they're starting to make it work. And also talking about armor sets, we have some Halo Reach armor sets coming in with Season 5 as well. If you guys remember that they were going to be coming in Season 4, but they had to be cut last minute as there were some pipeline issues. But they did mention in the previous development update that those armor sets of GRD and Akis will be coming in with Season 5 to the MCC. We have some legitimate new customization coming into the MCC, and it's exciting to see what's going to be coming in the rest of 2021. Now, one thing that does slightly worry me as a content creator about this update, they do mention about how these large-scale updates that coming monthly are going to be coming more at a needed basis. They're not going to be at, at the end of every month, uh, just because, you know, they don't have new games to release out anymore. It's more just kind of updating, fixing bugs, and releasing new content for the seasons. When we have new content coming in, we'll definitely talk about that as well. And as soon as we get that information, I'll let you guys know on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Look at the videos on the screen over here. If you miss any content from me, got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.